awesome, awesome day at the range. So I was looking here. This is I, I whipped up those loads quick. It looks like I spilled some powder at uh, a couple different times when I was uh, when I was setting up the the ten rounds of uh, test that I, I blew off at the range. But anyway, that's not why I'm here. Today I'm here for the 300 blackout. The dies came in. SBC got me the dies. Let's see, get this out of the way. So I uh, I took an old piece of brass. Um, the one, one of the ones I cut down with the wheel, and uh, it looks pretty good. And then I just did a full size, a full size piece of brass, and uh, it looks pretty good too. So here's one. Here's one of the ones from the test run where I I marred it all up. I just squished it. So um. I don't know if I need to or not, but I'm really juicing up the, the case loop here, and I'm even leaving it wet. I didn't want to, don't want to, uh, want to get some, get a little bit inside and out. Watch this. It's pretty, a lot, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Let's see. It goes right in. Really nice set of dies. Uh, SBC got them on a limited edition. Uh, an Amazon for this. Rock Chuck just just sh chucks it in the shape. See, that one might be because of the old the damage. It might be. Uh, um, well, it's not popping out the primer. Oh, I see what happened. I see what's going on here. We pushed out the centerpiece. That was a lock stud. All right. But when in doubt, read the uh, the instructions. But right now. Uh, the die for shaping, uh, it's not, the decap isn't set up, but the shaping is, is working. Let me just grab a raw piece of brass here. There we go. Let's try that. And there we go. It's pretty easy. I didn't lube that one up even. Jeez. But I put some, uh, I put some gun lube in the, uh, in the press, uh, in the dies, cleaned them up a little bit, made sure it was, had a case. But as as a 300. Pretty cool, yeah, pretty cool. So it still has to be trimmed. I don't know if I'd want to try to push that whole thing through the uh, um, through one of the li uh, Lee trimmers. So I'll probably still take it off. Well, it's working. Here we are. Here's the new, uh, the trimmer's not coming until uh, Monday, but you can see they all look to be longer than tolerance. Looks like the, the height's a little different. It almost looks like there's a little bulge there in one of them, too. So here's one. It's pretty, what I found was you have to really have the, so this one has a little bevel in it, so I don't got high hopes. But we'll see what happens. Watching the top. Primer popped out. Watching the top here, making sure the uh, deep priming pin doesn't push out because it has some properties on the inside of the case, too. I go slow coming out, and it pops right out. There you go. So there's another one. Let's see. Let's see if it's still lined up. Yeah, probably run them through one more time anyway. They're not consistent until the trimmer gets here, but uh, they almost look the same, same height. Yeah, we got one more. So, like I said, what I'm doing is really lubing them up. Really, you know, usually I let this stuff dry, getting it inside and out, and uh, let's see if we can do it again. Goes in nice and easy. That was a good one. That was nice and easy. There you go. It works a lot better when it's really lubed up, and I uh, found out that uh, really got to tighten the heck out of the the pin. It's like a compression fitting on the on the new uh, lead die set. But pretty cool little set. Pretty cool little set. So I'll whip up some powder for them, and we could, we could make these things play. So that's for the three hundred. I'm going to run these through one more time now that I get everything kind of adjusted and uh, mapped out, see if they come out any different.
Hey, multiple projects going on here. You can see some 45s up in the back there, scales and powder and tumblers. But anyway, tonight, right now, or this uh, this one is for um, 300 AAC brass. So what I'm doing now, I, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm going to make it a multi-step uh, process. First step I'm going to do is uh, size the outside. Um size the outside and then um, once they're all sized on the outside I'm gonna snip them off at the shoulder and once that's done hopefully the tumbling uh, stainless steel tumbling media will be here and um, oh no actually is three uh, all right so first step is sizing the outside then cutting the top off and then I gotta use the deep priming insert uh, I was getting stuck so it has to be a pretty clean cut so this thing jams through the center to deprime the uh, spent brass, and it's a it's a lot of a lot of pressure on this uh, slipping. It goes inside the sizing die. So right now I have, obviously have it removed just so it, it makes the shape on the outside, and it gives me indication of where I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut at the at the widest part there, right as soon as it's uh, I guess wide over the shoulder. So I'm just going to fill up this tray, and uh, I got the heater on out in the garage. It's around Valentine's Day, and it's very 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 cold out. Uh, reading negative five degrees and it's really windy outside right now so a uh, good time to be out in the shack and uh it's pretty pretty nice in here right now so uh well, let's let's do a couple right i really lube them up good now i'll probably lube them up again once i cut them i usually don't use that much lube at all i usually have something underneath it though but i only got one hand so it's pretty easy once they're lubed up. I usually let them dry and everything, but it's it's really I don't want to. It's it's a lot of talk that is going into these, you know, more than the other stuff, and I'm not used to it, so I might as well just keep it lubed up. But it does a pretty good job. <coughs> it does a pretty good job. No shoulders, no damage. So I'm going to keep knocking these out, and if it warms up out in the, out in the garage, if it warms up enough, we'll, uh, we'll get the old Dremel fired up and try to get that done. Um, snip a couple of these off and figure out the best way that, that can be done. I'm trying to hold the camera, but, yep. So that's a, an attempt to make 300, 300 brass and ammo. All right, so here's the here's the solution I came up with for uh, making the 300 brass. So I sized them up already without the primer tool, so I uh, I take a, a piece of uh, uncut brass, three eighths three eighths deep socket. It fits perfectly, and I jam in a little uh, little eddy wire tie here, so it doesn't spin. Getting that. Let's see, I'm gonna try doing this with one hand, so no guarantees. Falls right into the box down below. Then I take, uh, I'll use two hands for this, but I take the RCBS uh, tool and uh, just clean it out on both sides I'll do it with that's gonna take two hands but but uh, and that's it so then it'll be and I'll I get all these done and I'll run them through the uh, the sizing and primer and see if it uh, if it works a little bit better I think it's going to and then uh, once the uh, trimmer comes in we'll be uh, be good to go 3 8 socket husky socket and a, a little eddy wire tie 